So, let's briefly have a look at this co-stimulation. As TCR recognition alone is not sufficient to activate T cells. So, co-stimulatory signals are required to provide additional activation signals and prevent inappropriate T cell activation. Co-stimulation is a critical step in T-cell activation that provides an additional signal alongside T-cell receptor or TCR recognition to ensure a robust immune response and prevent inappropriate activation. And the molecules that help in this co-stimulation are called T-cell antigens. You can get details about them in another interesting video under the title T-cell antigens, where we have explained in depth about these additional surface molecules of T-lymphocytes. These T-cell antigens are actually the CD or cluster differentiation proteins that are known for their actions as co-receptors for TCRs. Let's understand this co-stimulation process. The initial step of T-cell activation obviously involves the interaction of the TCR on the T-cell surface with the antigen MHC complex presented by APCs. This binding provides the primary signal required for T-cell activation. Then simultaneously, CD28, a co-stimulatory receptor expressed on the surface of T-cells, engages with CD80 or CD86 molecules expressed on APCs. This interaction is crucial for the transmission of the co-stimulatory signal. The engagement of CD28 with CD80 or CD86 provides a co-stimulatory signal that amplifies T-cell activation. This signal enhances T-cell proliferation, survival, cytokine production, and expression of effector molecules. CD28 engagement also promotes the differentiation of naive T-cells into effector T-cells. Other than this CD28, two other most important CD proteins that actually acts as co-receptors along with TCRs are CD4 and CD8, where CD4 is a co-receptor expressed on the surface of CD4 plus T-helper cells. It primarily interacts with MHC class 2 molecules, which present exogenous antigens to T-cells. The CD4 co-receptor enhances the recognition of antigen MHC class 2 complexes and provides additional signals for T-cell activation. Whereas, the CD8 co-receptors are expressed over the surface of cytotoxic T-cells, also known as killer T-cells. CD8 primarily interacts with MHC class I molecules, which present endogenous antigens to T-cells. The CD8 co-receptor enhances the recognition of antigen MHC class I complexes and contributes to T-cell activation. So, this was about co-stimulation, that is necessary along with TCR recognition. After this co-stimulation, next important step in T-cell activation is signal transduction. Following TCR recognition and co-stimulation, intracellular signaling pathways are activated within the T-cell leading to a cascade of events that ultimately result in T-cell activation. Let's have some detailed overview of this process. Here I'll break it down into number of steps that leads to this signal transduction. Let's understand them one by one. Starting with the first step, that is, TCR complex activation. We know, that TCRs are mainly involved in detection of antigen MHC complex, along with some co-stimulatory receptors. But TCR alone cannot transmit these signals, so it work in close association with other CD molecules, making a TCR complex. And this complex is actually made of TCRs, 
and the associated CD3 molecules. So, the TCR recognition of the antigen MHC complex triggers the activation of the associated signaling molecules as well. That is CD3 complex. And this CD3 complex is made of CD3 gamma, CD3 delta, CD3 epsilon, and CD3 zeta chains. And as I am showing, in this arrangement, this complex closely associates with the TCR and serves as a signaling module. Upon TCR engagement, the CD3 complex is phosphorylated by lymphocyte-specific protein tyrosine kinase, or LCK, which initiates signal transduction. Then the next step here is kinase activation. This LCK, that is lymphocyte-specific protein tyrosine kinase, phosphorylates the specific sites that are found on the cytoplasmic tails of this CD3 complex chains. And these special sites are called tyrosine-based activation motifs or items. So, these items get phosphorylated by LCK. And then this phosphorylation recruits and activates another kinase called zeta chain associated protein kinase 70 or ZAP70. This ZAP70 is crucial for transmitting signals downstream of the TCR, leading to the next step that is phosphorylation cascade. Now, the activated ZAP70 phosphorylates various adapter molecules, such as linker for activation of T-cells or LAT and phospholipase C-gamma-1 or PLC-gamma-1. Activation of PLC-gamma-1 generates inositol trisphosphate or IP3 and diacylglycerol or DAG. This IP3 then triggers the release of calcium ions, Ca2+, from intracellular stores, resulting in a rapid increase in cytoplasmic calcium levels. Calcium signaling is critical for several downstream signaling events. It then leads to the next step, that is activation of transcription factor. The elevated cytoplasmic calcium levels, combined with the activation of other signaling pathways, lead to the activation of transcription factors such as NFAT, activator protein 1, or AP1, and nuclear factor kappa B, or NF kappa B. These transcription factors translocate to the nucleus and bind to specific DNA sequences, initiating the transcription of genes involved in T-cell activation and differentiation. These activated transcription factors drive the expression of various genes involved in T-cell effector functions, cytokine production, and proliferation. For instance, NFAT regulates the expression of interleukin-2, IL-2, and other cytokine genes, which are crucial for T-cell proliferation and the recruitment and activation of other immune cells. So, this was all about the intracellular signal transduction in T lymphocytes. Empower your future with Skydia.com. Your journey to medical mastery starts here. Delve into a world where learning has no boundaries. Engage with our comprehensive online courses. Designed to enhance your understanding and refine your skills. You control your education. Learn anytime, anywhere, at your own pace. Transform complex medical concepts into engaging, understandable modules. Experience learning that is as effective as it is enjoyable. Realize your potential, reach new heights, and be ready to take on the challenges of the medical field. This is not just about education. It's about preparing you for a successful career in medicine. Skydia.com Transforming medical education. Shaping your future.